So this is exciting. It's like they say on Love Island, I got a text. <laughs> After a month of waiting, I finally got what I was waiting for. I have got a reply. A reply, a reply, a reply. I'm the guy with the reply. Oh, yes, I am. So, what does that mean? Today's actually my birthday. I'm filming on my birthday, so that is interesting. Happy birthday to me, and when you leave that in the comments, you are too late, but thank you. Belated birthday much. I'll take it. It's fine. I'll have it. So, as you know, I got a reply, and then I replied, and something amazing happened. I actually got a reply on the same day. Two texts in one day. Actually, spoilers, we ended up with three in one day. Amazing, proper conversation for a change. Things would appear to be going very well. And in that second message, she sent me some of her poetry and that was just amazing. She's an incredible writer. It's a different style to my sort of writing, but it's, it's, just, a, it's just so powerful and there's so much impact there. The, her style of writing is just, it's flawless really to me. I am biased, but it is very good. But I do just want to take a minute to also just apologise, and really apologise to you, because I know one day you are going to watch these back, and um, I am sorry for doubting you and getting impatient when it came to not hearing from you, and I just want to say I'm sorry. It was uh, me being weak, a bit insecure, and I'm just so used to things going wrong and not working out that I just... You know, I just started to feel a little bit nervous about things and a bit worried and the prospect of, you know, things not working out with you and the prospect of losing you is was just too painful. And that's what caused all those bad feelings. So if anything, take that as a compliment, really. But I am sorry. And ultimately, I did see the best in you and I always will see the best in you. And I am sorry for that because I didn't really appreciate the extent of what was happening in your world and how, you know, just how things were unfolding and I hope you can forgive me for that and you know as long as we're together see I'm going to say that actually as long as we're together because I feel it's destined at this point this video will be coming out when the answer's there and I do think the answer is that we'll be together so I was so truly honoured that she shared her poetry with me because that's as a writer myself it's a very personal thing to share and I know I share it on YouTube and everything but that's because I feel that's just my way of expressing things but it is a very private thing and for her to share some sort of deeply emotional pieces with me really uh, meant a lot to me and she couldn't have literally done anything more to be more attractive to me in that conversation she was utterly perfect you know her I just love her mental her mental state but I love her mentality what's up here amazing I love her mind it's just incredible to me she's like ridiculously attractive to me now from that and I always knew that's the thing I always knew she was that person but she's proven it to me now I knew she was deep I knew that she'd write and I knew that she was just unbelievably compatible for me and that confirmed it and that conversation has taken things to the next level it's the next level of attraction for me now I actually feel like I can handle her and I'm not out my depth and I can just see it working so so perfectly and so beautifully. I sent her one of my poems, so we've exchanged poems in the, in the world of being a poet. That's basically like getting married, right? We're basically, that's how the poets flirt. That's interesting, isn't it? They send them back and forth. You don't send nudes, you send your poetry. <laughs> no, I really am in a good place with this now. I fully trust her in terms of, you know, that her intentions are pure and that she is meaning what she says. And um, we've actually got a date in the diary now in March. So that's a little way away off, but that's okay because she has a lot going on in her life. And that's a lesson we should all take from this. You can be very quick to judge someone, but you never really know what's going on in their lives. She's been going through some, well, unfortunately, some really, really difficult times and I've tried my best to be there, etc. And uh, she's also in the middle of buying a house. So that's no wonder gonna be taking up a lot of her time and a lot of organizing. So. All of these things I was pretty much unaware of, well, especially the house. Um, you just don't know what's going on in somebody's life. And I, things are really, really shaping up well. It's, it's becoming very real. And I very much predict that one day she's going to be sitting here with me on video and I'm going to get my list of goals and I'm going to get her to cross it up for me to find love because I would have found that within you. And I'm also going to probably at that moment when you do that, I'm going to say, oh, let's add an addition to my list. And I'm going to go off, get a pen and write number six, your happiness, because your happiness will be one of my big goals and main priorities. And uh, that's going to happen. That's exciting. And I look forward to digging out this clip and I'll be like, oh, which video did I say that on? I'll have to watch every single one and then I'll find it. And then that'll be the video I set it on, put it into the prediction of when it actually happens. Maybe have a black and white fade on that and then do that. 
and that's really going to be the makings of quite the beautiful story. The only way this can go wrong now is if she's moving somewhere else, but I very much doubt that because of her work and her family, etc. So that's, in theory, not going to happen. But as you know me, I like to worry about every possibility, so that's, that's that. But the best thing to come out of this is the reminder just how much I love what's up here, what's in her mind, and what her personality's like, and what's in her head. And that's such a big thing for me. That's, that's really what counts. Obviously, physically, very attractive, but mentally, oh my God, that was like just unbelievable when those texts were going back and forth she as i said you could have said to somebody text some text me in three texts and make me as attracted to you as possible nobody could have done a better job than her that was it was perfect and it's nice to actually experience different attraction that isn't just physical you know the, my main urge towards her then was just to basically have a cuddle and listen to what's in her head. And I don't mean, oh, I can hear a lot of brain activity in there. I mean, listen to what's on your mind. I want to hear your thoughts because I just love what I'm hearing. It's so amazing. And just every time you speak to me, it gets better and better and better. And I just want to be with you and listen to that and experience you in your pure form. Hmm. See you in March.